Hello everyone, Reverend Deanna Cox here with the question, who is God to you? Welcome to our midweek reflection. <coughs> I'm Deanna Cox, I'm the minister with the United Church serving the physical communities of Daysland, Killam and Roseland and the online community of DKR United. And we have started a worship series that we're calling Knowing Our Faith and Sharing Our Light. We are in the season of Epiphany, which is like that oh, manifestation or, you know, you have an epiphany, you know, and it's kind of like when the light bulb appears over the, your head. So it's the season dealing with light and awareness of our faith, um, in particular, awareness of who Jesus is, that he isn't just some baby, that he actually is um, the light of the world. Epiphany. And so it's a perfect time to do a worship series where we get to know our faith so that we can share the light that we have within us. Share the light that our faith brings to our lives. And so I have light in the background. I also have something green and growing in the background because we are physically located in uh, northern climate and it is very cold and wintry. Um, unlike what we've had thus far. And so um, it's nice to have be reminded of life when we're stuck indoors. So I hope you enjoy that behind me today. We're exploring who is God for us. And so the United Church has a creed, we call it the new creed, that summarizes our beliefs. And it's it's a short document, so is it sometimes it's hard to know what all it's saying and referencing in there because it's meant to be something that is uh, recitable in church, possibly even memorizable like the Lord's Prayer and so that it just rolls off your tongue um, as part of your faith. And so it says that our new creed says that we believe in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus the word made flesh to reconcile and make new. So believe it or not, there's actually a lot about what we believe about God in there. Um, the fact God has created. So we believe that God created the, the world um, or that had a hand in creating it and is still creating. And so we, we also know that God is still at work in our lives and in the world. And so those are a couple key pieces to keep in mind when you take approach to understanding scripture or when, um, you know, understanding the doctrine of the church or doctrine of any church that, you know, we believe that God is still at work. And so... Then there's the line, who has come in Jesus. So it's that's into the nature of God, which we will delve more into next week when we discuss the Trinity. But this means that oftentimes I think people think of, like God is so abstract, right? Um, you know, this biblical stories, the people long to see God, but nobody ever really does. And it's, you know, there's even some stories in the Bible that talk about if you do actually see the face of God, you you um, turn to stone or, you know, different things like that. So it was important to have um, some, but something, someone that humanity could relate to. And so God came to earth in human form. Um, in Jesus, aka we've just had Christmas, uh, the birth of the Christ child, and the light of the world. So um, 
we in in Christmas we talk about Emmanuel and the meaning of that is God is with us and so that is what it's referencing is that God has come to dwell with us in human form so that we can develop a more intimate relationship with God um, and that we have some sort of reference of understanding for God. So you can see that those two sentences of our creed actually pack a lot of imagery of God in, in there. And they're not the only ones. Um, we uh, have so many ways of experiencing God. And so that's the question that we have today is, who is God for you? Um, I know I see God a lot in creation. Um, the wonder and mystery and spectacular beauty of our creation is where I most often find God. Um, that's, but that's for me. Where do you find God? Uh, how do you know that God is with you? Um, and this, that's the created and is creating part is that God is still with us, still and, and with us and within us. We are all created in God's image. So um, we have a touch of the divine in us and are called to share that with others. And so that's that's actually a big task at, um, to share that. And, you know, I hear a lot in scriptures and in people talking about how God is unchanging. And sometimes I find that challenging imagery because I think that God grows with us, that as we grow and learn, like God, like, but the thing for me that does stay the same is the unconditional love that God has for us. It doesn't matter what we do. God loves us. And so, and doesn't mean that that makes it all okay, that we can just run around and do bad things. But it means that God loves us enough to hold us accountable to each other. Um, that's part of that to reconcile and make new peace. Um, that acknowledging that we've made a mistake and to do better and that God, I think, calls us to that unconditional love piece. It's not about ignoring. It's about holding us accountable to be all that we can be. Um, even when we don't think that we can be uh, more or be better, um, I think God believes that and that's that love showing through. So um, that's just a snippet of what we will be discussing today, or this Sunday, I mean. And I hope you found something inspirational and um, kind of a nugget that you can maybe swirl around in your brain through the day um, and through the week. And I, I encourage you to think about Take some time and reflect on who is God for you and where do you see at God at work in your world. Um, we have some kind of, I call them sharing the light questions and uh, like ways to practice having conversation about your faith. And so these are the ones for this week. How do you experience God in everyday life? What do you think God is still creating in the world? And how do you know that God is always with you? So those are some, I'll try and remember to uh, type those questions in the comments so you can keep reflecting on them through the week. And uh, stay warm if you're in some place like us that's cold and getting colder. And take care of yourself and maybe kind of 
look out for your neighbors at, during this time. Make sure that they have their snow shoveled and that they're warm too. So take care, friends. God bless you and keep you until next week. Bye.